all right this is a t-shirt shop created with laravel let me show you what it does we have all the products listed on the home page as you are a visit website user you won't be able to order until you log in so to log in you have to register yourself click on register and uh, let me just register as user 6 and you need to give your email address password and confirm password click on register now you are a user and now you are logged in as user 6 and now you will be able to order the t-shirt let's just order the red t-shirt click on order you need to specify the delivery date and time delivery date and uh, and you need to give your phone number and the message to the admin click on order once you click on an order has been made so let's just check whether we have received an order or not let me just get into incognito mode and uh, let me just log in as admin so to log in you have to click on login so the admin you username is uimonkartir.gmail.com and the password is same click on login to view all the orders you need to click on view orders so you can see this bar shows up only to the admin for non logged in user you won't be able to access the dashboard so if you click on this view order you can view all the order as a user 6 you have made an order of red t-shirt and uh, you can make either the status as pending or accept reject or hold not only that you can add a product or in this case it's t-shirt so in the t-shirt tab you can click on create let's just add a green t-shirt you need to give the price and uh, you can upload the image and if you click on save a t-shirt has been added you can see the green t-shirt is in the list and uh, as a front end as a logged in user called user 6 he can view the added product you can see the green has been added in case if you want to update the black product black t-shirts price you can do that as an admin but not as a regular user so here we have black t-shirt click on edit let's just increase the price to 500 pixel for sorry 500 rupees and click on update and if you get into the front end now you are a logged in user as 6 if you make a you can see the price has been updated so once you log out you won't be able to order so to make an order you need to log in all right now let's navigate to the xamp cd dot dot and uh, in the cd c drive we have a folder called xamp and uh, inside the xamp we have HD docs. then we have saved all our laravel projects in the folder called laravel projects and here we need to say to the composer that we need a project and here this is going to be a t-shirt or t-shirt shop cool now let's just copy this and we're saying composer create a project and uh, download the laravel package and name it as t-shirt shop and then the preferred laravel version is 8.6.3 now you will see in the last laravel projects you will see a t-shirt shop folder would be created yeah you can see it just created right now it has just created right now now let's wait till the uh, composer download all the relevant laravel package and uh, i'll resume it once again and uh, it's installed now we need to get into our project here in this case it's t-shirt shop and if you type t and s then tab then it will open it will give the suggestion for you just click enter and now we are going to install the laravel ui package which would be responsible for uh, all the uh, authentication and uh, email system what are the features that are available which can be achieved using this uh, laravel ui package and uh, you can see email sending email send uh, sending emails and authentication api integration and image verification and uh, form handling can be done with this package then after it's installed we have to install the bootstrap for it and now it is saying to run this code npm install and uh, npm run dev 
you have to run you have to run uh, one more command which is one more time uh, which is php run dev and until you see this table your uh, laravel is not properly installed make sure after running npm install and uh, npm run dev you have to run one more command which is npm run dev so that's when only when you could see this table and uh, let's open our visual studio code so code and uh, dot plus enter and uh, it will load your uh, t-shirt shop in your visual studio code so we have to wait for it and by the time make sure your ZAMP is running and these are the modules that we are going to focus on we have completed the PHP installation and now as part of the installation we have one more step to go which is <coughs> uh, we have to create a database we'll do that and it has opened uh, the project in the individual studio code now let's create database so localhost php my admin make sure your zamp is running or else you won't see this page and now click on the new and we can name it as our project name which is t-shirt shop and click on create and now we need to link this database to our laravel project so for that get it to the env environment file which is dot env and uh, you have to set the in the via SQL you have to set the database this is lagging paste and uh, for the XAMPP the default username is root and the password is none just save this and that's it and uh, to make your project run you have to type php artisan serve so once you run this command you will get an IP address along with port so that you can view your project in the browser so as of now once if once you get the IP address you can see it's nothing but the local host IP address so 127.0.0.1 and 8000 is the first port, port and uh, you see this is the welcome screen so I'll just sh give you a basic idea of what hap what happens when you type your consider this as your domain when you type your domain Laravel will get into the web uh, web.php file which is in the routes folder routes web.php and uh, when there's a search for the domain name which is the index file index page you can see when there's a search for index files the Laravel will get into the will the Laravel is going to return the file called welcome so view is nothing but a file so when there is a call for the domain name laravel is going to return the file name called view so this view can be seen in the resources views and you can see the welcome.lit.php and now what we can do is you can remove all the files all the page all the section and you can type anything like ui wonk welcomes don't look for the spelling mistake i may be in a hurry so content is important mistake is not now you can see UI monk welcomes so this as I said Laravel will get into the web.php and uh, finds the relevant you can collapse you can close all the open file by clicking on this button now uh, web.php the same way when there's a search for home Laravel is going to that's a concept called controller the controller acts as a signal traffic signal light so just to give you a fair idea or this is one way of calling the uh, file the other way or the more convenient way of calling a file is using the controller so by default a home controller is created and this is the path and this is the class and inside the class we have a function and inside the function we would be using the same code to return a view called home so let me just get into the home uh, laravel will get into the resources folder views and your home.blade.php and uh, this is the file and uh, I'll just name it as hello f 
from home and as I said Lara will get into the rock controller the controller can be found in the app folder HTTP controller home dot controller and this code is nothing is nothing but the code for <coughs> I'm sorry the code for the login the logged in user can only access this page so I have commented it so everyone can access it so as I said in the web.php when there's a call for the home the laravel will get into the controller this is the controller home controller and the index file this is the home controller and this is the index file and again it is just going to return a view which is nothing but a, a php file called home so this is the home so you have to take note of controller you have to take note of routes.php and sorry web, web routes folder so app for controller folder and then we have routes folder and then we have views folder so these are the three folders accessed by laravel to give a web page for a user as he as he types as he type a url on the url bar if i type enter you'll see you will find the html which is this hello from home should come you can see hello from home shows up cool that's enough for the intro now what we are going to do is we are going to create a model so here the model is responsible for accessing all the data from the database so here as i said the controller is responsible for showing the page and the model is responsible for displaying or uh, not displaying uh, displaying part is done by a controller and the fetching of data from database and manipulating the data and sending the data to the controller is done by model again by repeating model acts as a intermediate between as a for the database so when whatever code whatever data that is sent by the database the model is responsible for manipulating it and the manipulated data is sent to the controller and the controller sends the data to the view and in the view you will find all the data in a visual requested way so by default let me just show you the folder we have seen controller we have seen views we have seen uh, routes so it's time for the model now so in the app you will see models folder by default we have a user model so this is created for the login and logout authentication type and the related tables so this is just a model and we can also create a table using the laravel so in that case you can see a database called you can see a folder called database and in the migration folder you will see four files the important file we are we need is user table so as i type a command called php artisan migrate you will see these four files will get converted into database table so as of now i just need one more column in this so i'm modifying it and it's going to be s underscore admin and the default value is going to be zero so if it is not an admin then it is going to be zero if it is admin then it should be one so that's what i meant so since we see these four folders along with we have seen one model over here so if i type the, uh, just let me just show you the database as of now if i click on structure it is blank so once i type a code called we have to close the server first control c php artisan migrate RAT. So it, it will migrate all your PHP files and it will get converted into database. So you can see it is migrating. So once it is done, if you click on structure, the four files got converted into four tables. It is still there. You can see these files are still there. And if you click on users, as you have seen, we have modified one T column, which is is admin. You can see is admin is also present. Likewise, we need to store all the t-shirt related data into a database so in that case we need to create a model for that so so this is a code php addition make model so you can see it is creating a fi php file in the database folder as well so let's just check so you can see t-shirt so this got created so we need to create the relevant tab column names for this so let me just show you you can see there is a model 
called T-shirt that got created. And uh, now we need to create the tables, sorry, column names for the T-shirt table. Let's just create that. So you can see we are creating a name column, description, price, and image. So the name data type is string, the description data type is text, the price data type is integer, and the images data type is string. And now you have to type php artisan vigrat again once it is once you see it you'll see one more table called models sorry one more table called t-shirts and the created it's taking some time so t-shirt in the t-shirts you'll see all the columns name, description, price, image. So created and updated are created by default using Laravel. So the second part is done. So routes and controller. And now let's just open, let's just create a controller for the t-shirt. So you can see this home controller file is for the home related stuff for the front end so for the accessing and uh, for the CRUD operation of t-shirt we need a specific controller for that so in that case we have to create a controller called t-shirt t-shirt controller so it can be found found inside as I said earlier HTTP controller as of now it's just two controller let's just create one more and now faces PHP addition make controller and the controller name is going to be t-shirt controller click enter and you can see t-shirt controller shows up so you can see all the related files for the CRUD operation also came along with it now in the web.php we can call that and uh, we can see t-shirt slash index it will display all the uh, t-shirts for the admin so when there's a call for this URL get into the t-shirt controller and uh, the file is index and uh, you can give the name for the controller I'll show you in a minute why we need name for the controller it's just t-shirt dot name so as I said when there's a call for this URL Laravel will get into the t-shirt controller. Laravel will get into the t-shirt controller and in the index file we will just going to return and we will give a test called hello from t-shirt index and the colon is important or else you will get an error. So let's just try make sure your XAMPP is running sorry your your uh, server is running php addition serve and if you click on if you call for the url t-shirt slash index you'll see hello from home the same way uh, before that I want to call a file so return view and it is going to be uh, inside the folder we are going to create a folder structure so t-shirt dot uh, index so as I said all the views will be inside resource folder views folder and create a new file folder called t-shirt and inside the t-shirt let's just create a new file and it's just index dot blade dot php so you can see t-shirt dot index and you can write the same code uh, hello from index and if you search again index page cool so this is for displaying all the data the same way create one more time and type create and the file and the relevant function is create and the name is create and I'm just renaming the name routes routes name and now the same way 
return from create file in t-shirt dot create we have a t-shirt folder let's just create a new file and let's name it as create dot blade dot php and uh, let's just say hello from create t-shirt slash create and you see hello from create now it's time for the uh, implementation of admin LT so for the admin LT to show let me show you the demo content so source code admin LT index so this is the bare minimum HTML required to run the HTML sorry admin LT so I have made it uh, the link will be in the description so before that if you press control U in your create page and there is no header and footer so in that case what you will do is you will see when there's a search for home if you press control U the header and footer is there so as I said in the web.php when there's a control for home it is going to return the welcome.blade.php or when there's a search for home it is going to return the index it is go it will get into the index folder where is it index file yeah index function and inside index function it is going to return view from the review called home which you see this is the home so as you see it is extending something we just close all the unrelevant files so you don't get any confused home will be inside resources views and home and now you can see it is extending from the layout the layout folder is there and app folder is here so all the head and footer is coming from here not all the uh, every page that extends the app.blade.php will uh, its ht its header and footer will come from here so if i copy the same content and give it to our index file paste it and if i search for index uh, t-shirt.index and if i press control u you will see the header and footer is available right now because i have extended it so whatever you place inside this hello whatever you place inside this content it will get replaced in the app.blade.php in this section you can see in this section so let me just say it again whatever you type inside the content so you can see at the date section content so this will get replaced inside the yield content so let me just <coughs> type again and you will just see hello if you press control u and you will see in place of yield your hello content will be there so the app is the parent or the container for your HTML and the app adds as a placeholder and this content would get replaced with hello now the same way we can have this in the create as well so now we understood where the header and f where the head and uh, body comes up so in that case it become very easy for us to give the CSS and JS for the admin LT so if you this is the admin LT so let me just open it in our visual studio open file laravel source code and now you see you have this HTML just copy this HTML and get into app.blade.php and just paste it the same way for the script tag just get into the bottom and copy all these and paste it and now we have to and as I get into this you will see 
control here pressing control here, you can see it's just placing as it is assets 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 and we need the IP address along with it so in that case we'll use the function asset and now if I refresh you got it you can see one to seven along with the IP address you can have access you can have accesses the same way for the JavaScript and now if I press if I click on this you will see there would be nothing because we haven't pasted all the files into the folder structure so in the source code we have all the assets so this assets has all the relevant HTML and CSS so copy this and get into our t-shirt shop folder t-shirt shop folder and over here you should you should see a folder called public and inside the public just paste it all the CSS and GS and the images can be accessed and make sure your images also coming will be coming from here can be accessed with this IP address now if you refresh you can have access to it so we have placed the HTML oh so we have placed the CSS and now in the index we have to create we have we will place a sidebar so I know where the sidebar is because I have created this uh, so you can see aside is the tag which holds the sidebar just copy this and paste it inside create and paste it inside index so if you refresh this and uh, you should see the sidebar comes up so instead of it's going to be t-shirt so you can see <coughs> the same way if I search for create not saved yet and this is create so now you see there is no point of repeating the code in that case let me just create one more file and I'm going to name it as sidebar dot blade dot vhc just copy all the sidebar content and paste it in the sidebar.blade.php and call the sidebar the same is true for the create.blade.php so if I search again there's no there's, there's not going to be any change because you see this is we are calling the sidebar file in this place. <coughs> Cool. working on the CRUD operation so the first thing what you need is you are going to create a file that is going to have a form and uh, as you click on submit those data will be saved on the database so here in this case if you search for t-shirt slash create and over here you see so for the code I have saved it saved it in the uh, you can get it in the downloads section so you can find the form so I'll explain the code line by line you don't have to worry about it so let me just show the output so it would be easy for me to make you explain so we have input field which accepts the name and we have a description of the t-shirt and we have the price of the t-shirt and uh, if you want to choose image uh, you can choose image and click on save so it's just a small CSS fix we have to do and as we know app is the app.blade.php is a file which holds our uh, hit tag so we have to make this fixed and just copy this line of code and uh, get into the app.blade.php which you can find in the resources and in the head tag we are going to give the internals 
style which is style and if you click refresh and your CSS is fixed now so let's get to the form so as the form it's very straightforward we have the encrypt type multifold uh, multi part the slash form data it's because of we are going to upload the image the form method is forced the CSRF is important or else you'll get the error called page expired now the main thing that we have to focus on is the name attribute name attribute of input field name attribute of text area name attribute of again price and name attribute of image make sure these name attribute match with your column name so you don't get any confusion so I hope this is clear now if you click if you click on submit uh, data would be sent to the to this URL so the data uh, now comes the interesting part uh, you might have seen why we have used uh, the route uh, name route in web.php it's because we can use the name over here so in the routes web.php we have used the name for the index file so we can use this name in the create.blade.php so here you, you just need to call use the blade route and that's it and now if you click on submit or save data you will see all the data will get redirected to the the method force is not supported actually the thing is we are not directly redirecting it we have to create one more uh, function that will take care of this uh, form data so let's create let's just make this store and we have a relevant function on the uh, t-shirt controller that is store and we can name it as the t-shirt dot store so you can give you can give the name so it says we have to specify the post method for this or else it won't work so it's better to give post now if you can submit you may get an error because we have not written any code on the store function so if you see in the app in the HTTP in the controller in the t -shirt, and you should find a store so we can get all the data using this request and I, n I want to display all so dump and is the function now again if you click on submit let's just type uh, Vishal my name and click on save you see this token is coming from at the rate CSRF and the description is null and the price is null let me just zoom in so it's time for adding the validation so now it's clear that this form is this function is responsible for inserting the values into the database <coughs> so before that let's just create the validation part so to create the validation you have to create a request control C and you see in the app we don't have a folder called request so we once you once I create a command for the request you would get we would be giving the command php addition make a request and uh, give the name of the class as t-shirt store request so you see there's a request folder and you see the ticket ticket for is request ticket store request and now we have to make this too and we have to create the rules for that and you see these are the name attribute description price and image i'm saying the name should name is required and it should be string the minimum value is 3 and maximum value is 40 the description is required it should be string minimum 3 maximum 400 the price is required it is numeric it is 3 minimum 3 and maximum 5 image image is required and the uh, allow type are png jpg and these are the things now we have to use this class in our controller so app inside app we have http inside http we have request inside request we have our class so we can use this class object over here and uh, if there is any error we need we can show the error on the save form file here just above our form so I'm just saying if there is any error then display the error one by one using the for each loop 
refresh the code and uh, make sure your server is running using php addition serve and now if i click on save you should see an error popping up at the start of form so if i type new and click on save it should go new is not there but uh, uh, the one which is which are blank are showing up so <coughs> that's clear so now we need to get all the data in the controller using the request all and uh, we need to use the model here so to use the model again the model the relevant model that is going to take care of is it's actually directly inside models folder M O D E L S. inside models we have t-shirt so we can use this t-shirt over here <coughs> no, we don't need this request in the controller we can use it over here so we can with the help of this model we can create and uh, over here we can pass all the data to update so here you see name is the column name description is the, these are the column names of database table and these are the requests coming from the input field name attribute so you can see for the path it's just path what 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 Laravel used to do is when you upload an image that image will get stored in the storage folder inside storage there would be an app inside app there would be a folder that would be created inside the public there would be created a folder so inside the folder all, all our uh, images are going to save for, for that you have to write a code when when there is a request image it's the name attribute and now we have to use the storage function and inside we have a public folder here as I said uh, here it is public folder I am saying that the create a folder called t-shirt and then store it into the variable and that variable will the location of the image will get stored into the database and once it is stored I want this to redirect to the index page And now you see I have started the MySQL and if I save it again Oh the sidebar is not active, sorry we have to write the code If you hide this you could see the message but the point here is it got saved So if you see in the localhost phpMyAdmin where your database is And let me just show you the resource So the storage app public you see a folder called t-shirt and you see these are the image that you have uploaded and you see the thing is stored in the database now let's just display all the values from the database and display it in the index save is the save what we are going to do save that we are going to do for here as well <coughs> so before editing what we need to do is we need to get into the controller and in the index page we need to get all the data from the database in that case what you can do is call the model and use the function called get and store it into a variable called t-shirts and uh, it's a php variable and send it with the route with the function compact and you can access this compact in the index file
so you can see we are using the for each loop and we are accessing it and we are displaying it one by one with the help of the keyword called t-shirt and uh, now this t-shirt has name so this is the first row data price description and to display the image we'll be using the function called storage it is class and this is the function static function url and with and this is the data from the database column and to display the image what we need to do is we need to display we need to save all the images in the public folder so you can see as of now the public folder is blank we just have assets css and js so we need to link this resources not resources the storage file to the public file in that case you will be running a code for the from the php rt send storage colon <coughs> links actually the code uh, it's not links it's link you can type yes and now you see in the public folder you you should see a storage folder and inside that we have t-shirts now we can access the images over here now if i run this code in the index you should see the data from the database and as of now i have run the code to I have stopped the server so that we can run the linking command now you can see pink t-shirt and laravel shows up the same way in the sidebar let me just link this first and uh, where is the sidebar sidebar should be inside resources <coughs> views and sidebar and uh, the name route we are going to should pass the route name route and uh, it's going to be uh, t-shirt dot create and then t-shirt dot index now we can navigate with the sidebar unexpected token on the sidebar actually I have not closed the round bracket that is the reason I was getting that error I refresh this and if I want to get into the create, just click on this. Now let me type red t-shirt and 200 rupees, choose the red t-shirt click on save and uh, we have two t-shirts. Now if you want to add data tables, you can type data table and you'll be getting the link of CSS and GS just copy the CSS link and get into the resources uh, views app so this is what the CSS so link if that doesn't work a copy of it and just place it the same way for the CSS inside the src attribute and this is the function that we need to initialize inside script and make sure you have this id in the table so which is index.lead.php and give the id over here and if you click on refresh you have a table data table now if i insert one more and a violet t-shirt two hundred choose the violet and click on save and we have violet now let's just create uh, the advantage of data table is you can make a search over here pink so you can see pink shows up, red, red shows up and so on now we can make a if you want 25 entries, 50 entries, 100 entries you can make this now let's make the insert and delete part so what if I want to edit so in that case 
in that case what we will do is we will be creating a button with the this is anchor tag and this is a button so if you see the edit button shows up and now we need to find the relevant function that is that will be responsible for the update part so for the first time what we need is we want to redirect them into a file which which is similar to our create file so what do i mean by that when i click on edit it should go to the a file it should, it should go into a file and it should have this kind of form and these data should get inserted so that's for that the relevant function is edit and it is accepting the id so let's just create in the web.php let's just create a relevant function it is going to be get and the url is edit and the name route is edit and the relevant function is edit so this is but it will accept a id so once it accepts id you need to pass id this way and uh, for the index.blade.php we should make we should call the route route and uh, we have t-shirt dot index sorry not index it's edit and along with that we need to pass the id so the id should be this id you can see this is the column name so we need to call the variable and access the id so let's just see we so we can access the id in the controller and as as we test <coughs> with this id let's just say we'll we'll be receiving the id from here and we can make it <coughs> over here so if i click on edit you should see a page that will have the uh, so we have to click on edit not here click on edit so you can see one and the one should show up here so we know we need to call the uh model and use the <coughs> sorry find variable and pass the id so you see and uh, store it into a variable one t shirt and uh, we need to send it return or redirect as we did for the index and it should be edit the page is edit we will be creating it and we need to pass this t-shirt over here and let's just create a page in the resources in the views in the t-shirt create a new file and it should be edit dot blade dot php and just copy what is there in the create file and it should be saved there for edit file but we can we we will be accessing the value called one t-shirt over here so instead of placeholder make this value and uh, we can access the name over here NAV. let's just check whether we are able to access it refresh it click on edit and define constant t-shirt on line number 73 over here I'm sorry it's a static function so you can see one dot t-shirt was off it, it should be inside blade so if I click on save the name and for the text area this is going to be description and for the price let's just see let this be text and a placeholder v the column name is price 
and for the image we'll be creating a image tag with width of 150 and we can have access storage colon URL and we can pass the <coughs> image so this is similar to what we have written the code on the index page this one let's just cross check storage colon URL and everything is fine now if I refresh all the data related to the row 2 should show up red t-shirt 200 rupees and the image is not showing up we are passing it as a string it's not a string it's a variable and you see so you, if you want to make this short you can make this 100 now let's just look for the other pink t-shirt <coughs> cool the pink t-shirt data of pink shirt shows up instead of save we can make this update danger and again if anything is blank we want to show the message so in that case we will be again creating a request and in this time the request is going to be for update so let's just create a request so in this case it's going to be t-shirt update request so it's the name of the class that I'm giving right now so you will see a folder would be created in the request folder which is t-shirt update request we have to do the same thing as we did for the store time we have to make this true and we have to copy the same thing and paste it over here at this time we can skip the image part because we may or may not update the image so it's, it's up to our code so if there is an image you can see we do, if, if you don't want to change the image you can make this blank that's the reason I have removed the validation for request sorry image request and you can you need to use this in the web.php so not the other controller and uh, the data that will use that will be used here is the function that we are going to use is update so we have to send these form data to the update function so let's just create the relevant file in this case it's going to be put and uh, it's the, the url is update the relevant function that is going to handle is update the name is update now in the edit.lead.php instead of store it's going to be update and yes we will be passing the id to copy this and pass the id now we can access this id in the controller dump and i dollar id and you can see if there is any error we can we can validate this if i remove the pink and click on update it should throw an error for the name only force is not supported so in the edit file we have to explicitly specify method foot and uh, let's just click on update again I believe the HTML would not uh, is not updated yet so if I click on if I remove foot target class t-shirt does not exist actually I think where did I paste this we have to as I said we have to import the class which is not here copy the class and get into the controller and uh, import the t-shirt update request click on update you can see the name field is empty but it skipped the image the image is also empty but it's not showing up so if I click on update 
you should see the one this one is coming from the update in the controller in the update function and we have to do the similar thing what we did with what we did what we did for the create function let us do that since we are updating we need to get the value first so we have to first get the row with the id that we have passed in this case get the value of 1 so the data related to 1 would show up if I refresh we have entered multi entry so the data related to 1 row show so this is only the first row first row data that is going to get updated and I am saying that whatever the request uh, I get from the input I need to fill it into the variable that I received from the model so the name would be updated the description would be updated the price would be updated the path so here in this case there it, there is a scenario either the user has updated the path once if the user has updated the path we need to store the image into the storage folder if the user has not updated the path then we have to use the same data that we have received over here I'm saying if the request has image that means user has updated if the user has updated the image then store the value into the storage folder if the user has not updated the image then use the same data that he have received from here I hope that is clear and then we have to redirect this to the index page saying that the message updated successful let's just try updating the let's just get into the view and let's just update the price for pink t-shirt if we click on edit <coughs> if I make this 250 and the data would get updated and we would get redirected to the you see 250 rupees the same way let me just add one more product and I'll uh, let me let us say let us change the image click on edit and instead of uh, pink let's just update this as yellow and uh, you can click on update here and you can see it turned into yellow and uh, let's just make it as pink as it is so the update part is working as we thought now it's time for the delete so for the delete deletion you have to get into the we don't need to delete anymore uh, we have to get into the index.blade.php and here we need to create we need to create a button and uh, that button will open a model so if you want and now this is the bootstrap model if I click on open model the relevant code for the model shows up so you have to copy this model code and paste it just before your for each loop because each model button should uh, link to the relevant button so this model is for this one so we have multiple buttons so we say we have three buttons to make this unique you can pass the ID to it and to make the model also unique you, you can pass the ID and now we don't need this footer we can make this are you sure and we'll make this are you sure delete the item and then in the submit button in the, su in the footer section you see we have a button and this button has type submit so we'll create a form <coughs> that's around this submit button and let the message be forced as of now since we make this submit the data would be sent in the form of uh, action method forced and the action is going to be will be creating the route relevant route right now which is uh, t-shirt dot delete and we need to pass the ID because we know which we need to show which data to get deleted which row need to be deleted cool and uh, we have to explicitly delete CSRF cross site request forgery and method is going to be delete and we need to create this relevant route over here delete we will be getting ID and it's going to be delete method and the relevant function is 
destroy d e s t r o y and the name route is going to be delete and let's just get into the uh, controller destroy and uh, we need to find the row and then delete it and let's redirect them with the success message to the index which saying that deleted successfully now if I this and let's just delete the violet t-shirt click on delete and it says are you sure and you see we have two headers in the uh, where it is coming from it is coming from index file to header yeah we don't need this refresh again let's just delete the pink one click delete and it says deleted and you, you could not see the violet t-shirt now let's just create the violet t-shirt right now <coughs> violet violet t-shirt and 250 and the image that we're going to upload is violet and click on save and the violet t-shirt got updated so here the one which we are updating it or adding it it comes at the bottom so to have this at the top you have to get into the web.php not in the web in the controller the index is responsible for that and here you can have order by order by ID in description ESC cool now let's just see whether we are able to yes the one which we have recently updated added shows at the top the same way let's just update blue t-shirt now create blue t-shirt now blue blue t-shirt 250 rupees blue save cool we can create we can view in the index file we can edit it we can update it so the crud part is completely done now it's time for the middleware now the next part is middleware so the concept of middleware is very straightforward when you type a URL in the Laravel the either for the non-technical person what happens is a web page shows so if you are an admin then the dashboard should only show to you if you are not an admin then there is a block there should be a block so I am not an admin I am logging in so you can see if I click if I click on register and the data for the users are, go are going to be saved on the users table so as of now you see it is blank let's just create user and the email address user at the rate gmail.com the password and confirm password are same click on register so once it is registered it will redirect it to the home.php so home.blade.php and if you click on browse you see the user 1 the is admin by default is 0 so if I register one more time register and uh, user2 user2 at the rate gmail.com password and register password are going to be same you got registered if I browse again and it is one more time the is admin is 2 what if I want to make the admin 1 and I want to register a user as UI monk the but in the is admin it should be one so in the register tab there is no option for adding the is admin in that case there comes the savior here it is database seeder so here in the database seeder which you can find in the database seeder this one so you are going to say I am going to create a user and we should import the model here app inside app we should have we would have models inside models we would have user so in the model 
user so we have access to the user and we are saying the name the email the password and this admin is one and click on save and close this or run this or stop this over php artisan dv colon seed <coughs> once you make an update okay it is throwing an error saying that is admin could not find is admin so here the is admin is simply is underscore admin i'm sorry for the mistake and uh, dv seed and now you should see the row has been would be added a row is added but here in this case the admin is one so now this guy is the admin the rest of them are the user so we have to create a middleware for that only the admin can have uh, access to it so in that case let's create a middleware so this is the code for middleware a middleware would be created in the HTTP you can see along with multiple middleware we should have t-shirt admin so here we have a middleware and we are saying to the middleware that if it is admin then only show the request so in the admin if it is authenticated and if the authenticated has the is admin value as one then only forward them to the request or else redirect them to the login page so let's just try so before that there are some things that we have to take care of so we have a t-shirt admin get into the kernel and in the route middleware make call the uh, initialize them so this is the uh, t-shirt admin which we have created right now now it is registered and we should say to the laravel that these all url should get blocked should be blocked these all url should be blocked so that the non admin user can't log in so in that case we would be creating a route group so here i am saying middleware and a middleware name is t-shirt admin it can only access these urls cool so let's try to access the i'm not logged in right now let's try to access t-shirt dot create and it uh, make sure your stamp is running because yeah refresh it should take you to the login page and if i go for t-shirt slash index which is responsible for showing all the data from the database redirect to the login page and if i click create it will redirect to the login page now if i try to log in as user user one and again and again if i try to log in so if i try to visit the url index it will not show up again t-shirt dot create it will not show but if i log in as an admin we are in this case the is admin value one is for the ui monk let's just copy this login and if i click on login and now if i try to enter t-shirt index it will allow me t-shirt create it will allow me so i hope the middle middleware part is clear and the database failure is run and it's i believe the role manager also i have explained it very clearly now we need to make the front end design on the home page so in the routes so when there's a search for log log down let me log this out and when there's a search for the domain don't show the view insta inside show the home so in the home would be shown and when there is a search for home again a home would be shown so now we need to design or we need to display all the data from the database over here how we are going to do that so we already have a home controller here <coughs> home controller home controller app http controller home controller and here we need to get all the data 
so let's use the model use app we have models and in the models we have uh, t-shirt so t-shirt we can dis get all the values of t-shirt get and store it dollar all underscore t-shirts and pass this <coughs> with compact function and we can access this all value from the database in the home because here we have saying the home as the data where is the home resources views home and now we don't need this data so this is the home page so I have made the carousel and listed all these products it's very simple as we done for the uh, crowd operation index phase so in the home.play.php so I just a static content you can see this is just a static content <coughs> and the images as we have sent the value all t-shirt to the home we can access it one by one and uh, just replace the source image source HTML attribute with the, the data that we receive from the all t-shirt and now our scarable would work the same way as we did for the uh, index file index uh, crowd operation uh, index file the same for each loop I'm looping it here in this case it was previously it was table row now it's just a div and uh, you can see the image it's like let's just make this 400 by 400 with 300 190 and 200 works and if I make a refresh One ninety and two hundred, so you could see. And uh, again, you have to fix the CSS in the app.play.php. By default, the title comes as left. We have to make this float none. And uh, just copy this and paste it in the app.play.php head tag. Now along with that we need to make sure we have a model in the home.php let's have a model <coughs> so here just copy the same code and uh, just make this order so again each button will have individual pop-up so for that you can name it with the ID <coughs> sorry for that so it's not data displays what actually the code that I have copied is wrong we should call this button just make this order and uh, it's a button and uh, the model event model that I'm going to copy is cool so I have pasted the model you see each of them can be linked with the ID this model refers to this ID and uh, you see I have created a form so here in the form the image which I have clicked shows up along with the title so if I close here if I click on blue the blue title shows up and we can have some forms so now as we know we are going to update the order so to create the order we have to store the values in the database so again we have to do the same thing as we did for the t-shirt we need to create a model and uh, the table would need to be created and uh, we need to create a controller for displaying or showing the orders of the admin cool that's the long story so to get step by step we have 
the image the name we don't have to worry about this and now the date you can see the date and time you need to copy the name attribute of time the date and you see we are passing the phone number and we are passing the t-shirt ID and the price and uh, the message to the admin and the order I know it's too much but we are going to make use of foreign key relationship we are going to make use of the relationship between the order table and the t-shirt table so you won't understand this so let's make the model now for the orders and I'll come come back here and I'll make an explain of what each code does so close the server run order I'm going to create a model called order and once you see in the models order would be there and along with the model in the database file migration create table for model also it could be created and we need to create the columns for the model for the order and you see user ID for the logged in user and the date the delivery date the delivery time and the phone number to contact the email address and the use and the t-shirt ID and the t-shirt price the message so you might be you don't get confused so this is this we are making the relationship three relationship like we need we need data from user table so this is for user table and uh, these are unique which we get from the form from here <coughs> sorry for that <coughs> from form and the form the phone is also the form and uh, this is would this would come from the user table and this t-shirt ID would come from t-shirt table and the price will also come from the t-shirt table and the message is from the form and uh, this would be default pending so now name delivery date and time phone and message other than that the user who's, who is logged in would get the user id the user who is logged in while registering he might have given the email that email would be there and uh, if you see this t-shirt has an id so that id would be stored here and this t-shirt has a price called 250, 250 rupees and that would be stored over here cool i hope this is clear and now we have to make a migration now it got migrated now in the browse so in the t-shirt shop we have orders and these are the relevant orders now since we need to make a controller for submit form URL so this form we need to submit a form so form method is going to be post underrate csrf csrf is important or else you will get a message saying that page expired it's submit so whenever you see there should be a route responsible for that a route so let's create a controller now close the server so the order the name of the controller is going to be order controller so now in the web.php we have to call the order controller url is going to be order create we don't need this id it's put sorry it's post the name of the controller is order name of the function is create order dot create and uh, in the home dot web dot php route the name of the route is order dot create 
I'm sorry for that I have made a mistake and here the mistake is we are going to focus on home controller not on order the order is required but we focus on home and store is a function in the home controller we'll create a function called store home store the function is store home dot store and in the home controller you see we are fine we are getting the user ID logged in user and we are creating the ID the date the time the phone the t-shirt ID <coughs> and the message <coughs> and you see we need to get the ID of the logged in user so here in the ohm.play.pc only the logged in user would have the ID and we are saying it get the user ID pass the user ID and it is optional get the ID of the user or else pass 0 so we can access the user ID over here and uh, just since we are using store the relevant function is foot and now now I am not logged in so only the logged in user should get this order in that case in the home.blade.php just before the order div we have to make we have to run a code only this admin should have if it's normal ph variable if the user so at the rate end if so if the user is logged in then only show the button so i think i've logged in so the button is here I was writing on the model span. For non logged in user, you won't be able to see the button. So let me log in now. <coughs> now I could see the button. Let me order the red. So let's make sure in the order table nothing is stored. Let's just try to store it. click on order and in the store I have not redirected it to anywhere <coughs> store function call the user model so user let's try again it's not a get method so we do it one more time test click on order so in the store we are passing the ID but not specifying the ID we are, we are passing the user ID let's try I think I've not refreshed the page the parameter ID controller store there was a parenthesis missing that's the reason you can see the round bracket I have missed it so now I'm pausing it properly <coughs> now you see the order let's just try in the browse it's not saved properly 
you see you have to make this order controller that's the reason <coughs> order click on order and uh, I have tested with hello that works let's try one more time user id to fillable mass we are making a mass assignment so again in the order model as we did for the t-shirt we have to do the same for the order the field size does not have default value so you see we have missed the price that's what it is saying <coughs> status does not have a default by default the status can be of pending Yes, we got rejected. That means data is saved properly. Cool. So we should see the message that order sent successfully. But in the hope we don't have a message, just above here, all products we can pass the message. Sleeves so somewhere over here. If the session has message, then display it. So let's try to order one more T-shirt, black one. Give the delivery date and time. Some random values. Click on order, and now you should see the message: order sent successfully. Now we have two orders. The same way as we did for the. Sidebar. We will just log in as admin. <coughs> I'm sorry for that. So you see the mistake. When does a search for home? Do the same as you do for the slash. So the once you log out, you will be to the home page. Let's log in as admin. You are monk at the gmail dot com. And you are admin. You should have access to the access button. So in the home dot blade dot php, just above the data, we would have a button. If you are a logged in user and the logged in user has admin ID one, then show these two button. And uh, here it's t-shirt. Add t-shirt. And uh, View T-shirt. View order. Refresh this. Since you are a, you are an admin, you can have access to the admin dashboard. So the admin dashboard links are here. If you want a T-shirt, you can add the T-shirt. So let's just modify the sidebar. And uh, the same way, <coughs> sidebar would be inside resources views sidebar dot blade dot php and uh, let's just copy this one more time here in this case instead of t-shirt it's going to be orders and uh, we would be just having view all orders and uh, order dot index and uh, in the order dot index let's just call the route relevant route order slash index and the order function and the relevant controller is order and if you make a refresh you would have a tab <coughs> order dot index is not defined order dot index is not defined this is the name of the route 
now you see order so if you click on view you should get into the order and index feed index function dot control order control does not exist it's the index <coughs> function cool now in the index function we need to show all the data we need to have access to the order so app models and here it's order and in the index file will display as the latest order first and and will send all the order details to the order dot index as all orders so here we need to create in the resources create a new file name it as index sorry it's wrong the folder is order so inside the views we need to create a new folder called orders and inside the orders we'll create a new file called index.blade.php and now here we'll write the code for displaying all the orders and now you see I have written a table and uh, these are the data but here you would see the foreign key relationship so we have t-shirt <coughs> and uh, we need to have user so you can see we are in the order table but we need to display the relevant information from the other table in this case the name the price and the username and the user's phone cool now in this case we need to create in the model of orders we need to create a relationship so here this is the relevant function user belongs to user and then t-shirt this is t-shirt class t s s h a r t so we need to import both the models app <coughs> user and then we have t-shirt make sure your orders t-shirts are fine now you can use this function and this user and this t-shirt on the control controller not on the controller in the index the user and t-shirt and uh, we'll look this later on <coughs> it's orders you can see the folder structure is orders that's the reason not defined in the orders index.blade.php it's models not model so the relationship that we have made is wrong cool we can have <coughs> we can see the data so if I make an order well, let's just use incognito mode 127 slash no directly you can directly access it since you are not logged in user you can't see you can't see if I log in as a user a user and if I make an order of black t-shirt and give some relevant time and date for delivery and click on order message cannot be null just type something and order sent successfully and if you make a refresh and uh, the user has made an order again now by clicking on accept reject and bold uh, let's just work on this functionality so when I click on this in the interlate.php here we have made a submit so let's create a form and the action that is going to be 
at the rate C S R F and at the rate method is going to be put and the relevant route is order status change status and you can see I'm passing the ID so that we know which table to modify so in the controller again we will be creating a function called change status which would accept ID and uh, we need to make the route in the web.php which is inside a routes folder change status it is going to be put because we are going to modify it and yes we will be passing id and the relevant function is this one and the route is route name is this and if you click on save and now we need to <coughs> make the modification here for just this status and now we are just saying get the ID and use the where clause and update the status to the status that you receive so the name should be same for all the three buttons make sure it's submit we can access this name over here and we can redirect it again so if I order change it is is not defined order dot change status it's the route name so to change the route name you need to get into the web dot php so I think it's not defined anywhere so order I think I have edited but it's the URL <coughs> that we are going to hit yes it's going to be put and this is the function and this is the name order dot change status is the name that matches okay it's over here but what is a mistake yeah it's the order controller that you have not changed so this is wrong we don't need this so this is right view all orders click on update too few arguments order change it is zero passed pass the ID along with it four four we should get the request as well you see you should pass the request as well in the change status <coughs> except order doc index is not defined it's the route so accept reject hold so now let's check one final time so let me just log out from here so for non logged in user you won't see the order button so as I register as user 3 user 3 at the rate gmail.com click on register and if I make an order on black t-shirt on some particular day and time click on order <coughs> now the order is sent successfully so as an admin let me just log out let me just log in as admin and if I want to view the order and you can see on the view order you should see the user 3 has ordered 
a new t-shirt and just accept it cool and now you saw the mistake in the sidebar.blade.php sidebar <coughs> you have to change this to route name and if you want you can link the front end again front end and you can just give home <coughs> and if you make a refresh get into view you are now in home if you view order it is redirecting to t dot index so when over here So it's not in the sidebar, it's in the home, home.blade.php. Order. <coughs> I was checking on the wrong file. <coughs> so if you click on view order, you can see all the orders that was made by user 3. Let me get into front end. Cool. And if you want to delete the black t-shirt, and uh, you can delete the black t-shirt by view t-shirt and delete the black delete and now as a user you won't be able to see the black t-shirt in the website cool this is the full-fledged work you can find the source code in the description thank you so much